Anyway, let's get back to the story. And as I build this up, so here's the plan. I'll go up about 24, build a platform up there. And um, we'll see if we can kill some mobs. All right, so getting back to the story. Well, wait a minute. <laughs> Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three. Let's make sure they die. Twenty-four up. All right, now I'm just going to do. All right, here's what I'm going to do with mine. I know I, a lot of guys, gals that are playing this, are um, doing like the water trap not a trap but where they draw them in with the water and they fall um i don't feel like messing around with water i'm just going to do something a little different with signs and you'll see how this works actually why am i doing that i don't need that one there so i'm going to go in about here i don't need that one there either I'm screwing up already it's all right this will work so i'm going to go let's see how many is that to where's my middle one? I'll put a torch here to show where that is. One, two, two, three. Let's just make this platform about five by five, maybe. I just don't want them to fall off the edge and miss the edge down there. I might have to put another edge down there. That's all. All right, let's go. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, five by five. What the heck was I thinking? All right, that's good enough. Yeah, not very precise. I'm not really about precision, am I? Just like to get things done in a fashion where it works for me. And. I do like things that are kind of compact and simple. I don't like to make things more difficult than they need to be. Right, I'm going to go out one more actually here. So I'm going to do something a little different. I'm not going to have the water flow, draw them in. What I'm going to do instead so scary up here. All right, let's just make the platform here. I'm going to leave an opening of two in the middle. I guess I can make two of these, can't I? Let me see. One, two. No. All right, let's do it this way. The larger the platform up here, the more we'll get a, a decent spawn. I don't want them going that way, though. One, two. You'll, this will make sense here in a second, I hope. Basically want them to fall down in the center hole. And the trick to get them to fall down in the center hole is to use um, signs on the inner edges. So I'm going to actually cut all that out. And I'm going to put signs up here. Signs, signs everywhere, the sun. Now I'm going to need a lot of wood, and I don't think I have enough. That's not nearly enough. But at least this will get us started. I have to go collect more wood. Oops. How many signs is this going to give us? Not too many. Not nearly enough, but that'll do for now. So basically what the sign does is it acts like a, a, a full block. So basically the, the mob sees this as a as a solid block and they'll walk right onto it and obviously there's nothing there and they go boom and fall 
Now I want to put signs all the way around the interior so we can fool them and then take these out. Oh no, I forgot to light that up. Oh, that was a mistake. Hmm, it's got to be a long night up here all alone. <laughs> Wish I had some lava. Hey guys! I don't even have a weapon. Alright, when you make that platform down there, you really need to light it up before you get up here. <laughs> wow. I'm going to go down and make a run for it anyway. No, I can't do that because I'll get shot on the way down. Darn it. Well, I could just sit up here and eat some melon. I'm going to fast forward through this night time, okay? So you guys don't have to be subjected to this. So let me just give you the quick plans. I'll put signs all along this inside. And then I need, let's see, I need another one here. I'm going to need another one there. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I need eight more signs. And hopefully they don't wander off this edge. And I might even just cut that edge off. And I'm going to cut some of that edge off. I really only want two or three wide. They spawn in. They jostle each other. They walk toward this because they think it's solid. And they go down and they die. And you leave two for spiders. So we'll try this. Now I just, it's hard to say whether or not if they fall here, they're going to hit. That. It's okay if they fall off this side too. I might just expand it out a little bit more on that side. I could put signs on this edge as well. And just expand that out. And again, the signs are there to trick them. To just continue walking on a solid block. They think it's solid. Otherwise, sometimes they, I mean, they'll fall off eventually anyway because they're dumb. But a lot of times they're just kind of, whoa. You know, they know there's a fall there. They're semi-aware of the fall. Oh, man. Yeah, I was supposed to light that platform up, but that'll make things a little more exciting. I'm going to fast forward through the night. I'm going to stare at the moon and just have a nice little night tonight up here by my lonesome. La -di -da. And uh, as soon as I come back, as soon as daylight comes up, I'll make a run for it. I'll have to deal with the spiders and the creepers. But I'm pretty wily, and I think I can handle them. That is funny. Gosh, I wish I had some lava. Let's solve this problem. All right, I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. All right. I'm not going to record the night. There's no sense in making this video any larger than it needs to be. So I will cut this out right now. I'm going to sit in one spot. And then when the sun starts to come up, I'll start recording again. And I'll go deal with those bums. Stinking bums. So hang on. Alrighty, folks. Here comes the sun. Do -do -do -do. <clears throat> wow. What a mess. So let's see, they should start burning up. I'm going to have to make a weapon. I don't even have a sword. Now I do. I could probably fight my way out of here. I just don't want to deal with the skeletons and get shot off as I start climbing down. Spiders are going to be tough too. Obviously the creepers are going to be... Yeah, it's going to be a little hairy. <laughs> Is Enderman down there too? Oh gosh. All right, well, man's got to do what a man's got to do, right? So let's um, let's head down. Okay, starting to burn. I wish I had a bow and about a hundred arrows. I don't want to hear them scream in agony. Don't you? There we go. Uh -huh. 
Well, looks like I'll get some goodies out of it. Okay, this is gonna be a little tricky. Little tricky here. Oh lord. <laughs> this is gonna hurt. No, I can't get past the column. The spiders. Might be an issue if they can get around the creepers, but it doesn't look like they can. Gonna make a jump for it. How many is that? I can go down one more. Hello. Need a little excitement in this game, don't we? Combat. Combat's exciting. Not with those guys, though. They scare me. Because they leap. And they do a knockback. And that frightens me. Ugh. Run. Darn it. Darn it. I hate running like a chicken. Oh, another melon. Nice. But that's what I'm going to do. Run and hide. Let's go put the seeds over here for now. And the melons. So what do we need? It needs a little... Well, I think I've got enough cobble. I was going to maybe build a little combat room here. The spider's gone now. They despawn. Looks like they did. All right, very well. Get some goods. Rotten meat. Okay, here's what we want to do. Here's what we wanted to do here. So that doesn't happen again. All right. Now we're going to need some more wood. So getting back to the story. So I'm sitting there in the, in the lobby waiting. Ooh, this is good. Waiting to hear, um, waiting to be called back in again. And uh, they certainly did. They did the test. Everything looks good. Eyes are perfect, which is surprising for my age and the fact that I look at a computer a lot <laughs> and have been for a long time. But uh, no problems, no glasses, I don't need anything like that, which is good news. But then, now, on the way home, it's a bright, beautiful day yesterday. And my eyes are super sensitive, right, to the light. I, I've got to squint constantly. And uh, so I'm checking out, and, and the girl behind the desk says, uh, Do you, You're going to need sunglasses for the ride home. It's really bright out there. Do you have any? And wouldn't you know, my sunglasses were in my other car, my wife's car. Because we took it over the weekend, and I had my sunglasses in there. Went to the zoo, and uh, I left them in her car, <laughs> and I forgot to bring it with me. So I'm like, oh man, this is gonna hurt. I'm gonna be squinting the whole way home. Eyes are all fuzzy and frozen. I can't see anything. She's like, well, here, we'll we'll give you these instead. You can take these with you. And she gave me these, like the old blue blocker. Remember the blue blocker? They're like the old senior citizens' glasses. <laughs> Oh my gosh, they're they're humongo, just enormous. Not really styling. I wasn't styling on the way home. Let me tell you. So I put them on, but they did keep my eyes somewhat protected and from the the, the bright rays of sun. So <laughs> I was able to make it home in one piece. All right. I think I have enough cobble. Look at this. I've got some bone meal now. These guys are adults. Let's get some wheat. And again, this whole farm is going to be moved pretty soon. So I don't want to spend too much time on the farm. But I am going to make some signs while I'm here. Gonna need some more torches too. So let's keep one block for charcoal. As painful as it is to make charcoal. Charcoal. Whatever. When I was a kid, we used to go out and mine our coal. 
Uphill. Both ways. <laughs> uh huh. Whatever, Grandpa. Gonna need you. Oh, look at some arrows. Can make a bow. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. I needed eight, right? Well, I don't have enough. I would like to preserve that. And I'm gonna need some torches. I need some torches on my bridge too, because that got pretty dark. The sprint can be really dangerous around these edges, because you don't expect it. Sometimes I lift up my finger to stop and then hit it again quickly, and you go flying forward. Not cool. I'll grab a couple pieces while I'm here. All right, let's go back out there. We'll finish that up. And then um, come back and get some more wood, hopefully finish up my roof. I'll have that achievement, this achievement. We'll finish the farm anyway, the animal farm, even though it's not going to work. But it is one of the challenges, and I'll get a point for it. And uh, then I'll start moving the farm over, make some things a little bit prettier. That's the plan. So when I was sitting in that waiting room, Thinking about eyes and how any little detriment to your eyes, any little damage or hurt, they really make you feel like garbage. I had a uh, scratch cornea one time, and man, was that painful. It didn't hurt so much like, ah, uh, constant agony, but just, just annoying. Whoa, how come I'm not it's crouched? Okay, after you put that down, you stop crouchy. Seems. Scratch cornea. That was really awful. So I'm sitting there in the waiting room, again. And I'm getting back to that. And uh, thinking about songs about eyes. And I don't know which one... I th the first one that came to my head was... Um, um, it was either Huey Lewis, which is uh, Gotta Wear Shades, right? The future's so bright, I gotta wear shades. It's Huey Lewis in the news. It was either that one or what was the other one I was thinking of too? Um, Corey Hart. I wear my sunglasses at night so I can. Yeah. Pretty bad stuff, but that's what I grew up with. Huey Lewis and... Corey Hart. And then it became kind of a, <laughs> a little fun little thing, thinking of songs about eyes and shades. So, and I was tweeting about it, and some people were offering some suggestions about other songs. I think I have enough signs up there. I guess I could come back and put a couple more. Um, uh, Eye of the Tiger. I am the tiger. You know, from Rock Band. And uh, was it Rock Band? It was one of those rock games on PS3 or Wii or something. My kids were playing it. Oh, yeah, the tiger, da, 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 da. Rocky song. I don't know. I don't remember all the words. And uh, Brown Eyed Girl. Do, 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 do. I think that's Joe Brown, right? Brown Eyed Girl. Do you remember when we used to sing? La, 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 la. Yeah, that one. And And I won't sing it for you. Let's talk about agony. <laughs> um, and let's see, somebody suggested The Who, Behind Blue Eyes. No one knows what it's like to be the bad man. Yeah, pretty bad. I know, sorry. All right, well, there's our platform, and hopefully they'll spawn. They'll walk toward those little ladders, ladders, signs and fall off and I could put some more on either side but that's a bunch more wood and I don't have it right now but this will work this will do the trick I'm gonna put another torch somewhere over here -ish. so what are the songs have eyes or shades oh eyes eyes without a face was another one uh, Billy Idol eyes without a face da -da 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 -da. whatever 
Eyes without a face, face, face. <laughs> Pretty sad. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Okay, it's getting night, and we're going to see if this trap works. And if it does, that will be achievement get. Monster trap. Then I can move on to something else.